Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rokakadash. Next up, honors to the elders of GMS of Great Millstone that rule well and continually teach. Peace and blessings to the elect, the Bayav Shadabada, the House of David, Shalom, Akim, Yahweh Shem, and Shem, to the elect. So, Khan, I'm going to start the book of um, Isaiah, the 8th chapter, and the 20th verse. It reads, To the law and to the testimony, if they speak not according to this word, it is because there is no light in them. Khan. So, we know that, <clears throat> you know, this word is specifically for the nation of Israel, for them to hearken unto, you know. For them to hearken unto the law and to the testimony. But hey, if they speak not according to this word, it's because there is no light in them. It's talking about these two thirds because obviously the elect is going to come into this truth and repent and be baptized. And how are you going to be baptized? By way of this word, man. You know, that water baptism that John came with, you know. And hey, you know, also Yahweh shot that spirit of prophecy that he had on him, you know. Yahweh was able to have um, power over the elements, you know, manipulation of elements. When he was here on earth, he was able to walk on water, man. You know, same for Peter. Because Yahweh gave him that power. He said, oh, ye a little faith. So what eventually happened? Well, we know that Yahweh also prayed for Peter. <laughs> you know, so that's what happened. That's what, that's lucky. Yeah, that's what had happened, man. He prayed for Peter. I don't know if your brothers know that account, but I'm sure you do, cause y'all brothers know y'all brothers and y'all brothers that send this truth, man. Y'all already know. There's there's an account where it talks about that, where it's um how basically y'all say so I pray for thee, you know. So hey, just as um, Al Elisha, or you know some would say Elisha, you know he prayed for a double portion of Elijah's spirit and he received it. So it's the same with us, brothers, man. You know, if a brother got like. Two talents, another brother might have five, and some other brother might have ten talents. You never know. <laughs> because hey, the Lord said, Greater works than these shall you do. So you you never you never you never uh slack you. You know you never know when it comes to brother man. You don't wanna um you don't wanna shy away from that though. Like you don't wanna um you wanna be determined when it comes to a brother. Like when it comes with a brother, you wanna be sure of that brother. You don't want to doubt him at all. That's because that's the spirit. Of, that's a, that, that's the spirit of same, and that's that's. Cause uh, talks about that too. You know. That's that's not but. Same when um you know, when brothers feel like they they should um, they they in that spirit of doubt or they should cast blame or something. That that's not but same man. But anyways, getting back to it, this is um Baruch four and one. This is the book of the commandments of God and the law that endure forever. You see, it says in the law that didn't, that um suck that endure forever. All day that keep it shall come to life, but such as leave it shall die. Come, and that's what's gonna happen, man. You know, and because there is no light in these two thirds, man. Hey, man, they're gonna come to naught. They're gonna come to nothing, basically. And as for the elect. They're gonna receive spiritual power. Hey, we're gonna have, uh, we're gonna be able to do greater works than Yahweh Shah, man, because he said so. You know, which is the spirit. Oh, and another thing too, I, I want to say, uh, you never wanna, um, you you never wanna um blame a brother for anything. You 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 know, because you never know when it comes to a brother, man. He might have known Yahweh Shah back in his past life, and a. You know, because they the prophets are back, man. The spirits of the prophets are subjects to the prophets, you know. And, um, yeah, and you should always expect more from a brother, you know. Expect him to be there at camp, expect him to bring out precepts, expect him to hold posts at camp, or expect him to read, or expect him to speak. You should always expect more from a brother, you know, because, like I said, you don't want to have that doubtful spirit at all. Alright, so Khan, this is uh, 
Philippians chapter 3 verse 18 For many walk of whom I have told you often And now tell you even weeping That they are the enemies of the cross of Hamashiach Come So you going Man when you come to this truth You're going to find out that a lot of guys ain't just They just ain't real with it They they a bunch of phonies man Dudes is fake So even weeping they are the enemies man Of, of the cross of Hamashiach man You know I mean and they had no respect for our Lord and Savior. I was shot, man. They were enemies unto him, man. <clears throat> you know? But Khan, this is Matthew chapter 10, verse 25. It reads, It is enough for the disciple that he be as his master and the servant as his Lord. If they have called the master of the house of Beelzebub, how much more shall they call them of his household? Fear them not, therefore, for there is nothing covered. That shall not be revealed and hid that shall not be known. Yeah, and I believe it tells you this in another precept. I'm not so sure, but I think I heard of a precept that goes somewhat, you know, according to the, you know, uh, like along these lines, man. According to the scripture, I mean, it says something along these lines, man. But there's a spirit, man, you know, like the Lord is revealing everything, you know, through his prophets, you know. And they will continue reading on. It says, what I tell you in darkness, that speak ye in light. Right. Because, you know, we have this truth. So if we have this truth, hey, you know, we have the light. Okay. And what ye hear in the ear, that preach ye upon the housetops. Right. You have to be that watchman on that, you know, housetop, man. You know. Okay. So, hey. No reason to fear these people, man. It says, And fear not them which kill the body, but are not able to kill the soul, but rather fear him which is able to destroy both soul and body. And hell, it's talking about the Heavenly Father himself. Yeah, how he's able to, you know, he was, he's the one that created these bodies at the end of the day. He's the one that created you human beings, man, should I say. You know, you people, you know. Most how created everything. All right, so he's able to destroy both soul and body in hell. All right, and not only that, who else had help with this creation? Well, Yahweh shined the angels, you know, the elected angels, the chosen ones. You know, it says, "Are not two sparrows so for a fair thing, and one of them shall not fall on the ground without your father." And you see, so that is a spirit, man. Okay. Let me see something. Yeah. All right. It says, but the very hairs of your head are all numbered. Free not therefore, ye are more value. It's like ye are of more value than many sparrows. Con. So when it says fear not, it's talking about you know don't fear the enemy, don't fear. What these people have to say, these people that are in darkness, you know, these people that, you know, that don't abide in the truth, man, you know, that, that you know, just simply don't have the truth at all. Don't fear these people. Don't fear them. You know? It says, um, right, because it said, are not two sparrows so far, um, for a far thing, you see? And one of them shall not fall on the ground without your father, Khan. So basically, what it's saying, you know, the Heavenly Father is able to to raise people from the dead as well, just like he did with Yahusha. He was able to resurrect his own son, his, you know, the only begotten son, which is Yahusha, was able to resurrect him just in the third day. You know, he was gone up into heaven. You know, resurrection meaning your body, you know, was eventually, you know, you you eventually went to the heavens or something, you know, roughly, roughly perfect along the lines, you know. So yeah, that's what happened. The the most I has that ability. Okay, cause he could do anything, man. Like he's the, you know, well yeah, he's he's the most high. All right, he can do he can do whatsoever he please. All right. This is Ecclesiastes twelve and twelve. And further, by these my son be admonished of making many books. There is no end, and much study is a weariness of the flesh. Yeah, that that as well, man. All right, because the Most High put us in these fleshly bodies, but He could change us, man. He could put us in new bodies if He wants to. 
you know, but we have to receive, we're going to have to be under that new covenant first, and then we'll get those new bodies. We'll be able to fly and do whatsoever we please, you know. But, like, brothers, you know, usually say, you know, there's no free will at all, and that's right. Especially when it comes to us, when it comes to anybody, when it comes to just people in general. Only one that has free will. So like the only, yeah, the only one that really has free will is, is the Holy Father himself, man. He's in control of all spirits. Because when you die, you go to the spirit realm, man. You know, to be judged. You know, so. Like I say uh, in the scriptures, for we must all appear. You know, before the judgment seat of, of you know, the Holy Father of Yahweh. Roughly paraphrase along those lines, so. You know, the judgment seat of God is, is up in the heavens, you know, where you eventually get judged. And, hey, when you're sentenced back down here on earth, people, hey, okay, they get put to death. But, you know, people still get judged here on earth as well. But we have the most high using us, man. Us, the Israelites, you know, the prophets, you know. Us, the servants, the prophets, man. The Lord uses us to, you know, bring judgment as well to these to these devils, man. To these, you know, evil spirits. It says, let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God, right? Fear the Most High, fear the Heavenly Father, and keep His commandments. For this is the whole duty of man. For the Most High shall bring every work into judgment. With every secret thing, whether it be good or whether it be evil, right? Because he's the one that created your ass at the end of the day. He's the one that created you at the end of the day, okay? So, it doesn't matter who you are. You could be an evil spirit or or a good spirit. You know, like like there's a scripture in the Apocrypha, I believe it says, uh, mentions good angel. How the good angel will keep him charged. So, hey, the Lord even created good angels, man. So, you got your evil angels on the left-hand side. And then you got the good angels, which are on the right-hand side. You know, which they, they they do that which is good in the sight of the Most High. The good angels, they do that which is right. But the evil angels, you know, like Satan. I mean, he does his job too, but he does the will of the Most High as well. But, you know, he's wicked, <laughs> you know. So, at the end of the day, it's all about the good angels, the elected angels. You know, which is the 144,000, the chosen ones, man. The, the That chosen seed, that chosen seed line. You know, which you Israelites, you so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans come from the sea line of our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Hey, and Yahweh himself dealt graciously with our forefathers, man. He, he hey, he, he, he's the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, man. So, hey, we have to have love for Yahweh, Shem, Roshan, man. We have to have love for, for you know, for the most signs of only God's son, man. You know, forget everything else, man. You know, you don't got to pick up weapons. You know, the only weapon that should be yours is really the Bible, man. That's how you defend yourself. Defend yourself with these um holy scriptures, man. Defend yourself with the scriptures, man. Defend yourself with this holy with the holy Bible, man, itself. You know, nothing else. And yeah, we were speaking about, you know, people being judged. Well, what does it say here in the fourteenth verse? It says, For God shall bring every work into judgment, you see? So the most high don't play, man. He don't play at all. So at the end of the day, you want to be at the good, you know, you want to be on that right side. You want to be part of the sheep, not the goats. The goats are on the left side, which is, you know, Satan, two durs, these uh, heathens, these Edomites. And then, then on the right side, you know, which we hope to be part of is, is the elect, the sheep. My sheep hear my voice. So you want to be part of that number, the 144,000. You want to be on that right side, man, on that right hand side of. Yahweh Shai, because Yahweh Shai, he's on the right hand side of his father Yahweh, so It's all about right hand, man You know, it's all about that right side You know, right hand power, man You know The right hand is much stronger than the left You know, so I can't wait, man The Lord's gonna use the angels even to, you know, sever out the wicked Which is these goddamn, you know, heathens, man Mainly these Edomites Specifically these Edomites, man The nation of Esau, Edom You know, they're wicked All right, let's get this out now. This is Exodus chapter 12. Salakia, verse uh, 49. It reads, One law shall be to him that is 
homeborn and unto the stranger that it should join among you. Thus did all the children of Israel as the Lord commanded Moses and Aaron, so did they. See, so it's all about keeping the Lord's commandments, meaning what he commands you to do. And it came to pass the selfsame day that the Lord did bring the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt by their armies. Look at that, man. Amen. The Lord, he's very powerful, he's very strong, and he's very mighty. So we ought to give all the praises on and glory, you know. It's like, yeah, come. We ought to give all the praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Shemashah, man. So, hey, that's pretty much all I had. You know, honor warrants is, uh, you know, I'll bring out another edifying lesson, you know. So with that, honor warrants is, uh, this lesson was edifying. And in closing, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, or Kakadash. Hey, man, the kingdom is his nine brothers near. This is almost here, brothers, so keep enduring, man. You know, you want to be part of the lot of the righteous, just like our forefathers was, you know, and they still are to this day. And also, I want to mention another thing, uh, because I mentioned uh, John being that, you know, uh, that well-favored, you know, disciple. He was like that highly favored. He was, you know, the beloved disciple. Hey, man, he they said, they said in the scripture how he was the greatest prophet that ever lived, man. So how much more you brothers, man? That's in this truth, you know. Hey, keep pushing this truth, man. You know. So out of my heart, to say, you better fight. Yeah, but she must shabrak them to the elect. Shalom, Akim.